Here's the problem, a standard PET jump to bottom. Across the third world, solar water disinfection takes place in these units. Solar water disinfection, or SODIS for short, is possibly the most economic and ecological way to produce clean drinking water, free of deadly disease such as diarrhea and cholera. Yet during my research I was shocked to discover there's a complete lack of awareness in the process and also a lack of trust. I couldn't understand why the whole third world wasn't using this to purify their water. It's so simple, just leave the dirty water in the sun for six hours inside these units and let the UV light and heat disinfect and leave the water completely drinkable. But, to be honest, would you trust a plastic drink bottle to provide you clean water by just leaving it in the sun, knowing that if it doesn't, there's a good possibility of severe illness? I felt there's some major improvements needed in order to just spread the awareness and also increase the efficiency of sodas. The key to a successful, long-lasting sodas product was to prevent the scratching to the plastic surface that's exposed to the sun. Research found that once the PET became scratched, the efficiency of the process dropped dramatically and could almost double the disinfection time, leaving the user completely unsatisfied and untrusting of the process, or having to buy a completely new bottle, resulting in extra costs and often abandonment of the soda process altogether. That's not good. So, I produce a soda product that its key aim is to protect these exposure surfaces. The only time the solar shield is exposed to the environment in any way that might cause scratching is when it's in the stationary position in the light of the sun. Otherwise, the unit is closed and the exposure plastic is completely protected. This might be when collecting water or in, just in storage, but there's no reason for the inside surfaces to become damaged in any way, increasing the lifetime and sustainability in the process massively. If for any reason the tank does become damaged and needs to be replaced, the whole product can be easy, easily dismantled and each part replaced individually, preventing the user having to replace the whole product. Also, the design increases the rate of disinfection by decreasing the depth of the tank to increase the surface area of the water exposed. So instead of six hours, we're looking at more like four hours. As well as, as, well as providing a functionally more superior product, the tool aims to increase the awareness and attract attention by being more interesting and individual than a PET bottle. It comes in a wide range of colours to give each user some individualism and above all aims to increase the trust in the process by looking like it does what it says it does. Its primary function is to provide solar disinfected water and that's exactly what it said it does. At approximately $2 per unit is a feasible product that charities can support as well as the users themselves. It has a strong brand image that the developing world and the developed world should recognise and ultimately help spread the word of service.